I'm going to start in a comfortable seated pose, hopefully a little propped up. Bring your hands to your heart. There we go. There's our, there's our third person or our fifth person. Close your eyes and just find your breath. In and out through your nose, draw the breath in with the muscles of your throat. This is a restorative practice. And we're going to gear it toward, <clears throat> excuse me, um, keeping our lungs healthy today. So I'm going to have you actually focus your awareness into the back of your rib cage and into the backs of your lungs. And think about your, your lungs today as, as a sheet, two sheets, right? The left side and the right side, and you can even think about the, the lobes if you'd like, but just if I were you, I would just think of left and right. And those sheets, now as you inhale, you're, you're moving this breath back into those sheets and billowing them toward the back of the room. At the same time, you're also saturating those sheets with breath. So it's this billowing back breath. And think about billowing the lower lungs first, the backs of your lower ribs first, so that the back ribs, uh, the lower ribs flare back. And then let your middle ribs flare back and then let the shoulder blades and the upper ribs also billow toward the back of the room. So instead of thinking of your body, the back of your body has a lot of bones back there that, that are hard to move. Think about these light sheets that you can just blow back in the wind, the wind of your own breath. <clears throat> For right now, focus mostly on the strongest, longest exhale, uh, inhale possible, rather. And each inhale gets a little deeper than the one before it. Now go ahead and bring your, keep your breath going, but bring your hands down <clears throat> so that your palms are pressing into the fronts of your knees or onto your thighs if you're taking a different type of a seated posture. Engage a little more in opening up the front of your body, but keep your back body also wide open. And now we're gonna take a stronger exhale as well. <clears throat> and each time you exhale, I'd like you to think about engaging the front of your body so that your navel is drawing strongly towards your spine and the front of your ribs are, the front of your floating ribs are knitting in toward each other and toward the front of your spine. And even your chest engages to push that last bit of breath out without your shoulders, shoulder heads coming in. And then notice what that does to your back body. So let's try that again. Let's inhale and billow the sheet back, lower ribs, mid ribs, and upper ribs moving back <clears throat> toward the wall behind you. As you exhale, focus on the front of your body, hollow out the lower abdomen, Knit the ribs together and engage your pecs to push that last bit of breath out. And notice how that pulls your back body toward the front of your body as well. Try that again. Inhale, back body expanding backwards. Without caving your chest in, exhale from the front of your body to pull the back of your body back toward center line. Back toward the front. Three more breaths like that. And 
Inhale, focus on the back, expanding backwards, billowing back. A lightness of a sheet. And on the exhale, without closing anything down, find the front of your body, engage abdomen, engage through the thoracic, engage across the upper thoracic cavity as well until you're completely empty. Take one final breath like that. Make sure your spine is extending, your chest is open. On your exhale, hug everything back towards your spine. Good, and now open your eyes. Take a deep breath in and sweep your arms over your head. Press your palms together and then clasp your hands so that your palms will face the ceiling here. Good, and draw the shoulders down away from your ears again. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, lean over to your right without closing your chest down. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, lean over to your left, mirroring what I'm doing. And bring it back up. One more time, exhale over to the right. Bend your right elbow this time and see if you can dive a little deeper. Inhale, come back up. Keep the neck in line with the rest of your spine. Exhale, dive over to the left. Keep the chest open. Bend your left elbow <clears throat> and go a little further. Inhale, rise up. Good, exhale, release your arms down. Now lean back, uncross your legs, just shake out any tension in your legs. And we're gonna roll over onto the knees now, coming onto the hands and the knees. And I'm gonna turn to the side. I'm gonna take our blanket out, or if with your blanket, you could take your blanket underneath your knees. Actually, that's probably a nice idea. So that you have a little extra padding on the knees. Take an inhale to extend. <clears throat> and an exhale to round. Inhale to extend. And exhale to round your back. One more time, inhale, extend the spine. Exhale to round. And once you're empty, take your inhale, extending. Stand up onto the pads of your toes. As you exhale, we're gonna bring the knees up off the floor and slowly unravel our legs into a downward facing dog. From down dog, walk your knees out. One knee bends and then the other. Massaging out the sides of your body as you dip into one hip and then the other. Just warming up and raising the core temperature of our body a little more. And now take both legs straight. And as you press back with both legs, make sure your core is strongly engaged. Bring your knees back down to the floor. Take an inhale to extend. And an exhale to round. Inhale, extend. And exhale to round. This time, extend your spine. Stand up onto the pads of your toes. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent. And on your inhale, extend your pelvis up, but keep your knees bent. On the exhale, straighten out your legs. Inhale, bend the knees, tilt the pelvis up. Exhale, straighten out your legs, draw the sit bones down, hollow out the belly. One more time, bend your knees, inhale, tilt the pelvis up. Exhale, straighten out your legs. Take a final breath here, breathing in for as long as you possibly can. Exhale to empty out completely. Once you are empty, draw your knees down to the blanket or to the mat, extend your spine, inhaling. And exhale, round again. Two more like that, inhale, extend. And exhale, round. One more time, extending. And exhale to round. And now we're gonna bring the knees out to the edges of our mat or to the edges of that blanket. Keep your knees on the blanket if you have one and sit your hips back into a child's pose. If this is uncomfortable, I would take the pillow and place it between 
the <clears throat> calves and the hamstrings and then sit back so that you have a little pressure relieved off of the knees and off of your ankles here. Remember that back body breathing that we did earlier. Keep this going. Puff up your back ribs, move them up toward the sky. As you exhale, find the front of your body, engage lower abdomen, engage your ribs and knit them in even more, engage your pecs to push that last bit of breath out of your upper back. Take three more rounds in this neutral child's pose. Really, truly take the time to empty out. I know it seems silly to engage our core when we're trying to relax, but <clears throat> that core engagement not only will keep our body temperature up, which helps us stretch, right, when we're warm, but it's also part of the relaxation. It's part of what induces the relaxation response. So by taking that strong exhale and hugging your spine with the front of your body right now, you are helping your entire body relax on a really deep physiological nervous system level even. Take one final exhale here. Engage your core strongly. Feel how that increases the length on the back of your body as well. Come back up onto the hands and the knees now as you inhale. And as you exhale, round your back, plug your navel in towards your spine. Take an inhale to bring your right arm now and your left leg off the floor. Just pull yourself apart into equal and opposite directions. Exhale, find a little more length as you draw your crown forward, draw the entire rib cage forward, and pull the pelvis back. Take one more inhale to lift both limbs a bit higher, and exhale your right hand and left knee down to the ground. Inhale, bring your left arm and right leg up. Keep your neck long. Exhale, pull yourself apart reaching into equal and opposite directions so that you can feel your body getting longer. Decompressing, take an inhale into wherever you just created space. Lift both limbs just a bit higher and exhale, release. Take an inhale to extend the spine again. Exhale back into a child's pose. This time though, we're gonna walk our arms over to the right and shift the pelvis off to the left so that you're feeling a nice long stretch on the left side body from your left hip to your left armpit. On your exhale, hug your right side body into midline even more. Inhale, see if you can walk your hands even more to the right. Lengthen out that left side even more. And on your exhale, engage your right side even deep, even more deeply, right? So find that intrinsic engagement and knit your right ribs toward the right side of your spine. Walk it back to center into a neutral position. Deep breath in here. And as you exhale, let's walk it over to the opposite side. Shift your pelvis over to the right. Walk your arms to the left. Take an inhale now from your right hip all the way up to your right armpit. I feel this in a really interesting place. This is the only way I feel this pose, uh, this uh, part of my body is in this pose. So notice if you feel a little stretch underneath your right shoulder blade area and breathe into that stretch all the way up to your right armpit. Walk your hands maybe a little more to the left, shift the pelvis even more to the right, increase the stretch on the right side body, take an inhale. As you exhale, knit your left side in even more dynamically. Left ribs knitting in toward the left side of your spine, especially your front ribs. Bring it back to center on an inhale. Come into a neutral child's pose again. And inhale back up onto the hands and the knees, extending your spine, lengthening out your back. Exhale to round your back, find that core engagement. Inhale, let's bring our right arm up, open to the right side. And try to get your entire chest to open to the right with your left elbow slightly bent. Exhale, bring your right arm underneath you to the left side. So you're gonna slide your right arm underneath for thread the needle pose. The palm of your hand is facing up. Now you can claw the floor with your left fingertips here. Keep the pelvis high. And if you'd like to go a little further, you can reach up with your left arm 
or you can even bend your left elbow, reach around and grab your right inner thigh with your left hand. Now in this position, you may also wish to use your uh, left leg to leverage this and open up even more to the left. If you want to take a bounce, I know this isn't really a restorative pose, but if you wanted to, just for fun, you could lift your left leg up. So it's really up to you. You can keep your knee on the ground as well. Really up to you on where you want to go with this. Take a strong exhale here and really ring out just a little more. Feel the length on that left side body. Make sure you're, you're lengthening as much as you can. So keep the left sit bone tracking away from those ribs again, right? And on your exhalation, let's unravel. Come out of whatever we were in. Come back up onto the hands and the knees. Inhale, extend. And exhale to round. While you're still rounded, let's lift our left arm up. Open up to the left. Make sure that right elbow is slightly bent. Exhale, bring your left arm underneath and through to the right. Sliding it as far to the right as possible here. Right, so that we are not um, <clears throat> just kind of placing the hand there and then releasing it down. So go as far as you can into that pose. You can bring your right arm up and keep your right arm up. Or you could reach around with your right arm and grab your left inner thigh. You can also claw the floor with your right fingertips and that will help you ring out a little bit more. Step your right foot back if you would like to. This is also a nice stretch for your neck. So do make sure that you're not sinking too far into, your, uh, into the side of your head. You're using the hips up to actually traction you out of, out of your uh, neck. So the neck has a chance to traction out as well. In other words, make sure you're not sinking your weight into your neck. Take an inhale and lengthen now the right side of your body even more. Draw the right sit bone as far away from your right shoulder as possible. One more exhale to ring out and maybe open up. Make sure that right shoulder head is not caving in, right? That's just something we do and we don't know we're doing. So open it back up. And now unravel, come out of your pose, bringing your right knee underneath your right hip. Palms on the mat underneath your shoulders. Take an inhale here, extend. And an exhale to round. Good, with your back rounded and your abs strong, take an inhale into your back body while your back is rounding. Puff up your back. As you exhale, exhale through the mouth. Once you're empty, draw the navel in and up and release, in and up and release, and take a few Agnisaras here. Just churning up the belly. If you're not sure what to do, just hold yourself empty. Find Uddiyana Bandha, and then while, stay, while holding empty, let the belly drop down, bring it back up, down, and up. You're doing all of this without breathing. Okay, we'll do that one more time. Take a deep breath in. Extend your spine. Exhale through the mouth. Rounding your back. Draw your navel in and up and release, in and up and release, in and up and release as many times as you can while still holding empty. This is a good practice to just do a bunch of times a day before you eat. Make sure you don't eat and then try this. Then go ahead and release out of that. Take your inhale. And as you exhale, <clears throat> we're gonna move one more time, just once again into downward facing dog, slowly unraveling into our down dog. Now this time we're gonna shift the hips side to side so that we can really work those obliques again and stretch out the side body. So as your hips move to the right, your toes will swivel over to the left. Move it back to center on your inhale. As your hips move to the left, your toes will point to the right. Do that just one more time in both directions. Feel your obliques working pretty strongly. And after you have taken that three, that third repetition, bring your knees back onto your blanket, take your inhale. Now cross your shins and sit back behind your heels. And I hope uh, everybody's warm like I am. <laughs> All right. So we're going to once again sit on our blanket or the pillow or maybe both. Okay. For me, my, my legs do better if I'm not propped up so high, but um, depending on where you're at today. Prop yourself up as much as you can to be comfortable here. 
We're going to start mirroring what I'm doing with your left shin in front of your right shin. We are not stacking the shins. We are not crossing our legs. We're bringing the right left shin in front of the right. And then make sure that your sit bones are on out from underneath you, right? So just lift one glute and then the other and then just sit down so that you can feel your sit bones plugging into the ground or to your prop, right? Good, so with that left shin in front, let's take an inhale here, reaching up. And as you exhale, we're going to twist to the right. So you're gonna bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee. You're going to push your right foot into your left inner thigh. Your left hand, right hand will come back behind you. Take an inhale first to extend the spine again. And as you exhale, ring out, push your foot into your thigh and push your thigh back into that pressure. Hi, pumpkin. <laughs> if you guys ever wanna bring your dogs to yoga, please do and then turn your, turn your video on so I can see your dogs. Take another inhale, lift a little higher, lengthen out a little more. Exhale, push your hand into your thigh, push your right foot into your left inner thigh. And go ahead and ring out a little more by hugging your inner thighs more to midline. Slowly unravel, come back to center. Sweep both arms up. As you exhale, you're gonna bring your left hand down, bend your left elbow a bit, and now really dive into that side bend. Right? So this is, as you've probably guessed, we're, we're trying to utilize more of our, of our lung capacity here. So we're opening up the side body, we're opening up the back body more today. Right arm is reaching, left elbow is maybe getting closer to the floor, maybe even touching the ground. This right arm isn't just forgotten about, right? Extend, lengthen. And while you're doing so, draw your right knee as far away from your right fingertips as possible. Take one more exhale to reach even further. Inhale, rise up, sweep the arms overhead. Good, and one more time, let's exhale and twist. We won't hold this as long this time. Inhale, draw some length out of your spine. As you exhale, push foot into thigh, push your thigh back into your foot and ring out even more. Feel the toning across the lower belly. Inhale, reach up, rise up, sweep the arms up. And exhale to the left side. Bending into your left elbow, chest stays open. Your right knee is pulling as far away from your right fingertips as possible. Your right sit bone can come off of the bolster or the block or whatever you're sitting on. Inhale, rise up. One more time. Exhale, take your twist. Go a little further, inhale, rise up. Make sure the middle of your back is not rounded, right? Your chest is lifting. Exhale, push foot into thigh, thigh back into foot. Hug your inner thighs together, ring out your lower spine, your middle spine, your upper spine, and then turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, both arms rise again. And one more time, over to the left. Right arm reaching, left elbow bending, maybe we go further. Right knee is not coming in and not coming up. Keep that right knee tracking to the right as your right arm reaches as far away from it as possible. Make sure we're not sinking into this left shoulder either. Stay out of the shoulder by staying in your obliques. That's the whole you know, reason we're doing this stretch. <laughs> take another inhale to reach up, opening up. Good, now lean back and take a hold of your thighs for a moment. Just take an inhale here, lift up. As you exhale, we're gonna recross, but now we're gonna bring the right shin, mirroring what I'm doing, in front of your left shin. Again, lift your sit bones up so you are balanced on the sit bones. Spine is lengthening, take an inhale here, reach up. And exhale, let's twist now to the left side. Right hand coming to the outside of your left knee. Your left foot is pushing into your right inner thigh. You're not pulling with your neck, just let your head follow your torso around. Inhale, we're going to hold this first one for a little longer. So take your inhale, find that space between your hips and your ribs. Fill up all of the space in the back of the body as well. Exhale, ring out, push foot into thigh, thigh into foot. Your right hand is pressing gently into your left knee. Inhale, grow a little taller, especially through the middle spine. Exhale, without locking either one of your elbows, push foot into thigh, thigh back into foot. Ring out so that your entire chest is opening toward the left side of the room. Good, now slowly unravel, sweep the arms up, lengthen both sides of your torso up. Exhale, right hand down, left arm over, bend your right elbow. Knowing that we're going to do this a few times, you don't have to go to your deepest place yet, right? Just work on and really establish that openness through the left side of your body. Exhale from the right side, decide to engage these muscles here. 
knit them in and feel that internal engagement as you hug all the way back to the right side of your spine. Take one more inhale from your left knee through your left fingertips, dive even deeper. Inhale, rise up, press your palms. And now twist to the left side again. Inhale, let the heart rise, draw the crown up. Exhale, ring out, push foot into thigh, thigh into foot, engage your lower core, and hug your spine as you ring out. Inhale, rise back or open back up to center, let the arms rise. Exhale, dive to the right again, bend your right elbow, this time go a little further. Maybe the elbow gets closer to the floor. Let your left sit bone come off the ground if it wants to, but draw the left knee away from your left fingertips. Inhale one more time, reach up and rise up. Good, exhale, twist, left hand, right hand to outside of left knee. Please make sure that your neck is also in line with the rest of your spine. This time include your neck in the twist by letting your head follow your spine all the way around so you're looking over your back shoulder. Inhale to sweep the arms overhead yet again. Draw the shoulder blades down, draw the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, right hand down, right elbow to the floor hopefully. Let your hips, your sit bone come up, but pull the knee away. Right, so that we're not forcing the, uh, the sit bone down into the ground. We're drawing the knee away instead as an extension of, that, of the roots. Take one more exhale to reach and hug, right side body in and up, make sure, right? Tell your obliques to fire here. Inhale, come back up, sweep both arms up. Good, and then lean back again, take a hold of the backs of your thighs, just hold here for one moment. Wonderful, exhale. <clears throat> Bring your shins back down. Come back onto your hands and your knees for a moment. Taking an inhale to extend and an exhale to round. And just massage out your back. And now we're gonna take a two-part inhale. So if you want to, you could put that blanket back underneath your knees here. We're going to take a two-part inhale in this position. If it feels, if you just feel like you can't be on your hands at all, you can sit back into this position onto your heels, okay? Either way, you're gonna take a deep breath in first into the belly. So if you're new to diaphragmatic breath, bring your hand to your belly and make sure your belly actually expands into your hand. I'm gonna exaggerate this, but you can too, right? Remember, no one's watching you. So as you inhale, you're gonna let your belly expand. And as you exhale, you're gonna let your belly contract, right? It will always draw back up. Now this, so that's one inhale. The second inhale will be into your ribs. And let me just show you that. So you want your ribs to be expanding and that's your second inhale, okay? So let's try that together. Let's start with a strong exhalation. Exhaling around. Take your first inhale into the lower abdomen. Hold your first in-breath. Take a second inhale without exhaling into your ribs. Pull the ribs open. Hold again. Now exhale and round your back. And let that be a forceful exhalation. We're going to do this two more times. Inhale into the belly first. Hold. Inhale into your entire rib cage next. Pull the ribs open. Hold again. Exhale round. Forceful exhale. And one more time. Inhale, belly first. Hold. Ribs next. Hold again. And exhale, all the air up. But inhale to a flat back, extending. And once again, let's come back into our uh, crossing the leg position. Sit back behind your legs. And now I'm going to have you <clears throat> bring your legs forward. And slowly, taking your hands back behind your thighs, slowly roll your spine down here, one vertebra at a time to the best of your ability. You can bring your feet up as well if you need to, that will help you slow it down. Once you bring your knees in, rock side to side a few times. After rocking side to side a few times here, 
and have you bring your knees over to the left side. And as your knees point to the left, let your chest open toward the sky. As your chest opens toward the sky, let your arms reach out to either side of the room. And if your props are in the way, like mine, I'll just throw them out. <laughs> let your chest open here. You may find that you want to put a pillow between the knees or a yoga block if you're lucky enough to have one at home. But you can also just let your knees offset a bit if, if stacking the knees is too much on your back, right? We take a strong exhale and maybe now we turn our head to look over our right shoulder. Twists are really great for just working our obliques and finding some decompression, right? Being able to just uncover a little more range of motion. They're also good for challenging our intercostal muscles to actually pull the ribs open. So again, even though it feels like, okay, I'm in a twist and I can just lay here and let the twist take care of itself. When you add that deep uh, rib cage breath, notice the difference, right? Even let your inhale be super important, even though we focus so much on the exhale, right, as we ring out. Now bring your knees back up over your hips, take an inhale here. Exhale your knees over to the right side. And as your knees open to the right, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. You can bring your left ear as close to your, as close to the floor as possible here. You can offset your knees like I'm doing in this pose, or you can stack your knees. You can also put a block or a blanket or anything between the knees to support you. Your chest is opening, palms face up. See if your head can turn any more to the left so that your left ear gets closer to the floor. And now just focus on while you're here breathing. You're not straining your intercostals. You don't want to pull an intercostal muscle. You definitely don't want to do that. But you do want to work them out, right? We want to create as much elasticity through our rib cage as possible so that our ribs aren't hindering our lungs from taking that full breath in. Right? Take another strong inhale. Really challenge yourself to pull your ribs open, encouraging elasticity, encouraging <clears throat> greater receptivity. A strong exhalation to ring out. Knit your ribs back in toward each other. Inhale, bring your knees back up over your hips. And as you exhale, you're going to place the soles of the feet down to the ground and let your back arch away from the floor. That's your inhale now. We're going to keep it open on the inhale. Notice how your front ribs are flared open. On your exhale, knit the front ribs in just like we did in our very first breathing practice. Push the back ribs into the ground and scoop your hips off of the floor. Just your pelvis though, not your lumbar spot, not the small of your back. Try to get the small of your back to actually stay on the ground. Let's do that much again. Inhale, let the sacrum drop down. Let your front body open and flare open. Even the front ribs are really opening and spreading, right? Back ribs are knitting in. Exhale in the opposite direction. Exhale, push back ribs down. Press the lumbar spine down and scoop the pelvis off the floor here. Do one more like that. Inhale, let your sacrum drop down. Let your lumbar spine and your thoracic spine rise. Feel that opening. Huge breath into the front of the body while it is open. Exhale, engage in knitting in the front of your body knits in, just like we did at the beginning. Scoop the pelvis up off the floor. Now peel the rest of your spine off the ground into a bridge pose. And once you're up in bridge, take a full exhalation to push down through your feet. Inhale, reach your arms up toward the sky, and then over your head, lift the hips a little bit higher. Exhale, bring your arms and your spine as slowly as you can back down to the floor. Remember that your abs are super strong here so that your lumbar spine will touch down before your sacrum, before the back of your pelvis. Then inhale, let the front body flare open again. Good, exhale, engage, draw navel down, scoop pelvis up. Make sure your lumbar is on the ground. This requires a bit of concentration there through the lower core. We still want to feel like the back, the back ribs are pushing down into the floor. Inhale, slowly roll up. This time, sweep your arms up as your spine comes up. As you exhale, bring your back, the backs of your hands down into the floor even more. Push down through the soles of your feet. Your chin is reaching up rather than tucking in. And on your next exhale, we're going to bring it all down. One more of these. So take this slowly. Look for a little more range of motion. Look for a little more mobility there through the lumbar curve. As you place the lumbar spine on the floor, then allow your sacrum to come down. 
you will allow your lumbar to rise, right? Good, one last time. With the lumbar curve still off the ground, take your inhale into the front of the body from hips to shoulders. Exhale, engage your abs, bring your ribs and your hip bones a little closer together as you scoop your pelvis off the floor. Inhale, peel your lumbar, your lower thoracic, mid and upper thoracic up. Your arms are also rising, keep your chin jutting up as well. Exhale, push down through the backs of your hands, push down through the soles of your feet. Take another strong inhale to lift the hips even higher. And exhale, bring your arms this time so slowly that you can really articulate your spine. You know that that inner strength, your exhale, and you may want to take a few inhales and exhales, you know that that inner strength can prevent you from just dropping the back of your torso down to the ground. Once the, pel once the uh, lower back is on the ground, keep your pelvis up. If you dropped your pelvis before your lower back, bring the butt off the floor again. But once you have that internal engagement and the lumbar spine is moving down, then allow your sacrum to descend. Inhale, find that greater elasticity, malleability, flexibility. Good, and as you exhale, like we're going to roll all the way over onto our left side. Now this is when I'm gonna have you grab your, your pillow. And it can really be any pillow. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be this shape. It can be thick, right? And then I'm gonna have you lay the left side of your body on the pillow, bring the, the lower edge of that pillow right into your hip so that your, your hips are not on the pillow, right? And then slide the left shoulder off of the pillow. Bring your right arm up, take an inhale here. Exhale, reach your right arm over your right ear. Lengthen out the right side of your body. And now feel free to just close your eyes and find the right side of your body with your breath. Huff your right ribs up to the sky. As you exhale, hug your left ribs off of the pillow, even if they're not really coming up because the pillow's squishy, <laughs> right? But make sure you are engaging the left side of your body every time you exhale. Take an inhale and now start to bring your right arm back up over your right shoulder. And exhale, bring it back over your head. This time though, reach a little further. Draw your right sit bone away from your right armpit, just like we did in that earlier twist. One more time, inhale, arm comes up. And exhale, the arm comes over. Pull the right hip as far away from these lower ribs as possible. Take an inhale into that space between right ribs and right hip. It doesn't mean we're not breathing into the rest of the right side. Just make sure you include that part, right? On your exhale, start to roll over, bringing your right arm out to the right. And for me, my pillow is too small to sit, keep my back on, but maybe you have a wider pillow. You can just open your chest toward the sky here. And as you exhale, draw the right shoulder blade further to the ground. So you're kind of rolling the right shoulder blade off of the bolster to see if you can touch the ground and wring out your spine a little more. But bring it back over. Right hand comes to, to just rest on the left hand here. And we'll do this uh, moving now with it a few more times. Inhale to open up. And exhale to close it back down. And one more time, inhale to open up. And exhale to close it back down. But then from there, let's roll onto our back. Keep the bolster or the pillow underneath you. And keep, make sure that your hips are not on the bolster so the end of that uh, pillow is just coming into the sacrum. Your feet are flat to the mat. Take an inhale here, open up the chest. And exhale, <clears throat> root down through your feet, just scoop your pelvis up. Push the rest of your ribs. We're not gonna go back into a bridge, but we are gonna push the back ribs into the bolster or the pillow. Keep the hips up, keep the glutes up, keep breathing now and push your back ribs into that pillow. Two more breaths like that, inhaling to expand into the back of your body, pushing your back ribs into the pillow. Each time you do this, make your breath even deeper. There is more room to breathe. Exhale, engage your core. 
Keep your glutes up, keep the feet rooting down. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, lower your hips down, roll over so that now you are on the, your right ribs. And as you're on your right ribs, the left side of your rib cage will be on, or will be facing the ceiling here. Bring your right shoulder out from underneath you. Bring your knees in fairly close or wherever is comfortable. Left arm will reach up, take an inhale here. And exhale, bring your left arm over your left ear. Arch this left side body up, stay here and breathe into the left side. Exhale from the right side. Inhale into left. Exhale from the right. Decide you're going to work your obliques here. Inhale one more time, expand left ribs up and that space right between your ribs and your hip. And exhale, reach further. That inhale, the arm comes up. And exhale, bring it back over. Arching, even more. Left sit bone draws away from left thumb. Inhale, let the arm come up. Exhale, arching. So your right side body is arching up even more. Your left sit bone is reaching away. You're increasing the stretch and the space between your hip and your ribs. Good. And one more time, let's just release that and start to open the arm out now to the left side. You can offset your knees here. You can slide your knees a little further away or keep them right where they're at. Your right arm will reach out a little further as well. Start to roll open here. This is again your opportunity to expand into the spaces between your ribs. Not just your front ribs, but your back ribs. Not just your floating ribs, but your upper ribs as well. Left shoulder blade coming down a little closer to the floor. If you can roll the left shoulder blade off the bolster, please do. Good, now let's take one more inhale, open the chest even more. Exhale, left arm comes up and back over. Stacks on top of the right hand. Inhale, open the left arm up. Go a little further and exhale, close it back down. Let's do one more of these. Inhale, open up. See if there's any more ringing out that you can get here. Give yourself a little spinal adjustment if it's ready to adjust. And then bring your hand, your left hand back down onto your right. Good, from here we're gonna roll back over onto the back body. Your bolster or your uh, pillow is underneath your spine. Good. And with your uh, feet now uh, together, let's bring the soles of the feet together, drop your knees open into a Supta Baddha Konasana. And while your knees are open in Supta Baddha Konasana, I know that there's a stretch happening in the thighs and that can happen uh, on its own today because we're gonna focus on breathing so deeply that we're feeling like our hips, our hip bones expand as you inhale and then they'll knit back together on the exhale, even while we're in an open hips position. Okay. So bring your hands to your hip bones and kind of bring your pinky, phone, pinky fingers to your thigh bones. Just let, them, let the outer edge of the pinky fingers touch the thigh bone. Now take an inhale and expand so deeply that you feel your pelvis breathing with you. And you're pushing your hip bones to either side of the room. And you can feel that expansion because your hands are there, right? As you exhale, knit the hips together, knit the hip bones together. Feel how strong a contraction you need to find through the lower core to bring the hip bones back toward each other. So again, close your eyes, breathe as deeply as you can. Don't stop exhaling until you feel the space between your hip bones contracting knitting in, hollowing out. Two more breaths on your own.
So hopefully you can hear how long an exhale I'm taking. And it's not just right when I feel a tiny bit empty that I stop. I'm really truly going far beyond what I would normally exhale to find that lower, again, increased, increased engagement. <clears throat> Good. Now bring your knees together so that your knees and your inner thighs, your inner, the inner edges of your feet are touching. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, you're going to lift your shoulder blades and maybe some of your ribs off of your bolster. It is supporting you there, right? Let it support your lower back. Hold on to the thighs. And again, we're just going to hold this for a moment to warm ourselves back up, just in case we got a little chilly there. <laughs> Take one more inhale. If you'd like to go further, you can just reach your fingers past your knees. Take one more deep breath in here. And as you exhale, roll your spine very slowly back down. We're going to do this one quickly a few more times. Take an inhale here. Keep your knees together, inner edges of feet together, inner shins together, inner thighs together. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Inhale into your back body. Let that inhale actually propel you off of your blanket a little more or bolster or whatever. And then release on your inhale. Again, exhale, draw navel down, lift the back of your head off the floor, off the bolster, hold here, take an inhale. If you're inhaling into your back, your torso will lift higher. Stay here, exhale. Inhale, release that down. That is hard to talk when you're in that position. Do that one more time, take an inhale here. And exhale, navel down to bring the torso up. Inhale into your back body. Push your back body into that pillow. Lift up higher. Stay here. Exhale. And inhale. Release it back down. Nice job. All right. From here, we're going to actually roll over and take a pose with both the blanket and the pillow <clears throat> underneath us. But we're going to turn the pillow sideways so that it's not underneath our entire torso, but just underneath our lower belly. We're going to take the blanket and just roll it up so that there is as much space be uh, between the floor and, the, uh, and your belly as possible. We're going to lay the belly on top of the bolster. Now, if you have an exercise ball, I would recommend an exercise ball here because it really drapes you over. Right? And then we're going to take the forearms down underneath our slide back. Here's forearms underneath the forehead. This is going to feel a little bit of like a little bit of pressure on your internal organs. Don't worry, that's good for your internal organs as well. Um, and this can be an emotional pose. Usually this is, I do this in yoga therapy, but this is also really good for just, again, allowing any congestion that may be in the backs of our lungs to actually start uh, breaking up here. So we're going to focus on inhaling now into the back and the belly as we expand the belly into the bolster or whatever we have underneath our belly. And make sure that your hip bones are not there, right? Your hip bones are kind of sliding off. So that really is all of your internal organs are being pushed up onto uh, as you take your belly onto that bolster. Okay. Take an inhale into back and belly. Hold your in-breath for a moment. Gradually, you're gonna work your way up to 10 second inhale holds, right? So you don't have to inhale for 10, although if you can, that would be great. But do try to hold for 10 seconds. Exhale for the same duration. Inhale into back and belly. Hold for as long as you can. Exhale from belly and lower back. Now, if you have any hypertension, don't hold your breath for more than a second or two, right? But this is good. We're trying to work up some energy and some awareness of our lungs and how our lungs are really feeling. Do that one more time. Holding your in-breath at the top of the inhale for as long as you can, gradually working your way up to 10 seconds, if not longer, if you want to hold for longer, that's fine. And exhale for the same duration, at least 10 seconds. Okay. 
Good. And then we're going to come up, bring the bolster and the blanket out from underneath us. Bring your arms forward. Draw the sit bones back. Forehead is on the ground. Take an inhale to lift your left arm and right leg. Remember, we did this very much earlier in our practice. Exhale, pull yourself apart again. Just another way we can traction out our ribs, traction out our spine and decompress and then release. Take another inhale, bring your right arm and left leg up. Exhale to pull yourself apart into equal and opposite directions. Inhale as you lift both limbs a little higher, make sure you're still reaching and pulling apart. And then on your exhale, do make sure that your exhale is giving you the strength to draw even more length, ribs forward and pelvis back. And then release your limbs back down to the floor. But now I'd like you to either um, take this pose as a um, finishing pose, which we will come back to later. So this is one option that I'll remind you of, but while we're here, um, because it is so good to let your back body breathe. So this could be your Shavasana today when we move into it later. I'll remind you of that when we do move into Shavasana. Come back up onto the hands and the knees here. And now you're gonna sit back onto your heels. Take an inhale in this position. And as you exhale, round your back, bring your chin in. I'm gonna take, I'll shift this up just one more time so you can see the arms here. Going to take your, <clears throat> if this is uncomfortable, by the way, just take any other seated position or you can sit on your bolsters. Um, you're gonna take your left elbow, mirroring what I'm doing, and just place it in your right elbow, and then wrap your forearms around each other and press your palms together for eagle arms. Take your elbows up on an inhale. On your exhalation, you're going to increase the engagement of your pecs so that your back body is opening especially your upper back. Yet let your shoulder blades move away from each other and off of the back. And as you exhale, press your forearms away from your face, increasing the stretch on the back, the upper back and the backs of your shoulders. This is a harder area to access. So again, it's an important area to access because we're underutilizing our back when we're breathing. And it's super important right now. If you haven't um, heard Chris Cuomo talk about this, he does have COVID-19. So just YouTube his, his talk on, um, on uh, CNN the other night. Take one more inhale in this position, breathing into the space between your shoulder blades. As you exhale, engage your pecs. Pull your elbows further forward. Inhale, sweep the arms out. Keep your arms open. Now I'd like you to think about pushing your hands back. I do have a wall right behind me, so I can. If you don't have a wall, just pretend you do have one. And you're pushing your hands into that wall. Inhaling here, make sure that your head is lifted. Your spine is lengthening. And now exhale, bring your Left elbow underneath your right, wrap your forearms, wrap your wrists, and press your palms. Inhale, bring the elbows up in line with your sternum. As you exhale, press your forearms away from your face. Please inhale into the back of your body, especially your upper back. If your muscles are getting tired, that's a good sign that they're actually working and that in that work, we are gaining more flexibility, more elasticity there into the back, upper back uh, of our ribs, right? the upper thoracic cavity. <laughs> Take one more deep breath in as the elbows lift up. Exhale, press those forearms away from your face one more time. Feel how you're opening. If you haven't yet, right, if your shoulder blades are still kind of on your back, please pull them as far away from each other as possible. See how I can breathe into my upper back and you can see that breath? That's what I want you to feel. And then unravel. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. But as you exhale, clasp your hands, press them right forward in front of your chest, bring your chin in. 
Inhale, let the arms rise. Let the heart rise, let the chin rise. Bring your ears in line with your armpit, uh, with your uh, biceps. And two more times, exhale, round, chin comes in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, round, chin comes in. And rise on your inhale. And then sweep the arms behind you, rotating through the shoulders. And now we're gonna move back into our Shavasana position. So you could decide again that you would wanna lie onto your belly. You could lie onto your back and take a pillow underneath or even just a blanket underneath your spine so you have that little bit of pressure. Or you can just lie down as you normally would in Shavasana. I'm going to have you make your way into Shavasana in whatever way you would like to and give yourself the opportunity to just move a little bit before you move right into Shavasana so that when you do get into your final resting pose, you are comfortable. Spread out on your mat. Let your body, by spreading out, remind your lungs to spread out as well, to remind your breath to spread through your entire lungs, right? Not just the, the front of the uh, upper lobes of our lungs, but truly, right? Remember you have the sides of your torso, your lower your lower lungs, your mid, your upper, your upper torso, your, the front of your mid torso and the front of your lower torso also that you can fill up with breath. <clears throat> and once you do get into that final position, close your eyes and visualize your lungs. See your lungs with your mind's eye. As you breathe, even with a subtle breath, notice if there are parts of your lungs that are not receiving or don't have that feeling of receptivity. And without forcing breath into that part of your body, just relax that part of your body more. That part of your lungs or that part of your rib cage, the back torso, the front torso, the sides. Sometimes what we need to feel is that feeling of relaxation to let the breath move more freely, of course, through all parts. I'm going to let you rest here while I read a really powerful piece of prose. This is entitled An Imagined Letter from COVID-19 to all humans. Stop, just stop. It is no longer a request, it is a mandate. We will help you. We will bring the supersonic high speed merry go round to a halt. We will stop the planes, the trains, the schools, the malls, the meetings, the frenetic, fur furied rush of illusions and obligations that keep you from hearing our single and shared beating heart that keep you from hearing the way we breathe together in unison. Our obligation is to each other, as it has always been, even if and even though you have forgotten. We will interrupt this broadcast, this broadcast, the endless cacophonous broadcast of divisions and distractions to bring you this long breaking news. We are not well. All of us are suffering. Last year, the firestorms did not give you pause, nor the typhoons in Africa, China, and Japan, nor the fevered climates in Japan and India, because you have not been listening, because it is hard to listen when you're so busy all the time, hustling to uphold the comforts and conveniences that scaffold your lives. The foundation has now given way, buckling under the weight of your needs and desires. So we will help you. We will bring the firestorm to your body, the fever to your body, the burning, searing, flooding to your lungs that you might hear, we are not well. Despite what you think or feel, we are not the enemy, we are the messenger, we are the ally, we are a balancing force, and we are here asking you to stop, to be still, and to listen to move beyond your individual concerns and consider the concerns of all, 
to be with your ignorance, to find your humility, to relinquish your thinking mind and travel deep into the mind of the heart, to look up into the sky and see it and notice its condition, to look at a tree and see it and notice its condition, to visit a river and see it and notice its condition. As the health of a tree, a river, and the sky tells you about the quality of your own health, what might the quality of your health tell you about the health of the rivers, the trees, the sky, and all of us who share this planet with you? Stop. Just stop. Be still. Listen. Ask us what we might teach you about illness and healing, about what might be required so that all may be well. We will help you if you stop and listen. Please roll over to one side into a fetal position. And then press yourself up to a comfortable seated pose. Bringing your hands to your heart center. Resolve to listen today. We are in a place where we do have the opportunity and the time. Thanks so much for being with me this morning, this late morning. Have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. Namaste.